Hi everyone, I uh, am back with a topic for discussion is trauma may affect the kidneys. And most people don't want to have to deal with trauma, but you, I think it's quite interesting and you really don't know when you're going to find yourself working in an emergency room setting. So it is worth every bit of information. Here is a Miss T who drives the school bus. She was hit head on by the lady in the red car and was transported to the emergency room. Paramedics transported her to the emergency room. What happened to Miss T when she got to emergency room? Well, she developed, she had what trauma to the genitourinary system. In fact, her kidneys were involved. Now, this particular area may be affected by either blunt or penetrating trauma and renal trauma is a frequent occurrence. When a car accident happens, a full bladder may very readily rupture. Make sure you empty your bladders before you start to drive. Helpful hint. Signs and symptoms of bladder rupture include flank pain, hematuria, blood in the urine, CT scan, Ultrasound and lab values are some of the tasks the doctor may order. Surgical intervention is sometimes necessary. It is not always that surgical intervention is necessary, but it can possibly happen. And bear in mind some of the symptoms, the signs and symptoms you get if the kidneys are affected, is blood in the urine and flank pain. So let's see what happens after Ms. T gets to the emergency room, is examined by the doctor, two tests are ordered, a CT scan and an abdominal ultrasound. So what exactly happens? A CT scan is really not that big a deal. It's actually quite simple, it's painless, very quick, and it's quite interesting to look on the screen and see what exactly is happening inside the body. I've watched it several times. Next comes abdominal ultrasound and this is a very painless procedure. Contact gel is applied to the skin. A probe is used to accurately sense the sound waves which is similar to that like, of what boats use for the ocean floor. And patient teaching, it, this is a helpful pin, it doesn't hurt to do some patient teaching to alleviate the fears of the patient. Usually, typically what happens, the technician can best explain to the patient exactly what she's going to do. Of course, it's usually ordered by the doctor if it has to be done. And I hope you've benefited from this. And try to, if you can, to take more interest in those topics on trauma because even though trauma sounds intimidating, it really is quite interesting to learn about trauma. Once you get used to it, it is nothing to be afraid of. Hope this has helped you. Have a great night.